Hey guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gardening Paradise. I hope you all would be doing great. Most of us fellow gardeners like to grow our plant from seeds and when a small plant pops out of it, that moment gives a different feeling of happiness altogether. But most of us must have faced this problem at some point that the seedlings die after some time because of any reason. There can be many reasons why the seedlings die like excess heat, less manure or fungus attack. So let's discuss why are the seedlings dying, their causes and remedies. But before that, a small request to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon afterwards to get the update about my new videos. So let's start. So here are uh, some very common problems that occur with the seedlings and their treatment. Perhaps uh, this is the biggest problem that everyone has faced at some time. Suddenly, almost completely healthy looking seedlings without showing any symptoms tip over at the base and die. This is called damping off and it's basically a fungal disease. It attacks the base of the stem and happens so fast that there is no way to save the seedlings once they flop over. So the only way to stop it is to not to let it happen. Two main reasons are overwatering and excess fertilizer. So you should sprinkle water only if you find the soil or the potting mix dry. It is best to water your seedlings from the bottom by pouring water into the tray and allowing the soil to absorb the water from the bottom. Always use well drained potting soil. You can also mix uh, neem cake or any fungicide with potting soil. If you have covered the pot with a polythene or a newspaper then remove it once the seed is sprouted and place the pot in a well ventilated place. By doing so the top surface of the potting mix will not remain wet for very long. In addition to these, spray any fungicide on the seedlings and soil at an interval of every 15 to 20 days. Leggy seedlings This is definitely one of the biggest problem with seedlings that stem becomes too long and thin. Seedlings need a lot of light as soon as they begin to grow. So if they don't get enough light, they will reach and stretch out for it. So this leads to leggy seedlings. If the seedlings have grown so tall that they are falling over, then it is too late to save them. So therefore you have to pay attention to it in time. Main reason is the not getting adequate light. So as soon as the seed sprout, place the pot in a place where there is plenty of light, especially in the morning. If you are using a grow light, then keep those light in such a way that there is always a gap of 2 to 3 inches between them and the seedling and keep those light on for at least 12 to 14 hours a day. Second reason could be seedlings are overcrowded and uh, are competing for light. So to avoid this, thin seedlings by cutting out the weakest one. This will reduce the number of plants and only healthy plants will remain. Faded leaf or droppy leaves and stem. When seedling leaves turn brown, yellow, white or look dull and faded or the whole plants look droppy, that's a sure sign that something is wrong. So most of the time you can save them but you have to act fast in order for them to survive. Overwatered plants actually drones them by depriving the roots of air. So when the roots don't get air, the leaves hang down and the stem drops. Sometimes it is also due to planting a small plant in a big pot. Because the plant is not absorbing much moisture each day, so uh, the soil in the container stays soggy. So always use well drained soil and initially plant seeds in a small pot. Fertilizer burn. Most chemical fertilizer burn small and fragile plants causing their leaf to fade or change color. So you can use organic manure instead of chemical and that too in proportionate quantities. Sunburn. Keeping the small seedlings directly in the open sunlight scorches them. Seedlings should be hardened off before placing them directly in the open so that they become used to direct sunlight. Curled or crumbly leaves. If the leaves of the plant begin to curl either in upward or downward direction or fall then both these conditions indicate that something is wrong with the plant. 
less water even a few hours without water can slow a seedling's growth and after a little more time the plant start to curl its leaves to conserve moisture to avoid this regularly water the plant as required pyramid as soon as you see that the leaves are curling have a closer inspection if you notice web like structure or tiny insects on the leaves then those can be spider mites spider mites can kill seedlings very quickly so it is imperative to act fast to get rid of uh, these small insects you can spray water on them to wash them away this will also increase the humidity level which is not the favorable condition for them and can also spray neem oil or any insecticides chemical fertilizer rather than using a chemical fertilizer which can cause severe damage to seedling use a organic one instead seedlings not growing or growing slowly many time it happens that the growth of the seedling is very slow or it seems that they are not growing at all lack of nutrients seed contain all the nutrients they need to germinate and grow their first pair of leaf but after that you need to provide the food so when a plant appears to have stopped growing it needs food so you can feed the seedlings with organic fertilizer uh, high or low temperature seedling growth can be stalled if the temperature is too high or low generally the ideal temperature should be in between 20 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius lack of adequate light seedling growth can be stalled if there is not enough light so always place the pot in a place where there is plenty of light especially in the morning hours inadequate watering excess or less watering may also hamper the growth of the seedling it is very important to keep the soil moist but at the same time it is also important not to over water so keep an eye on the soil to get to know when to water the seedling and when not to purple or red leaves the purple or red color of the leaves of the seedlings is an indication that they are not getting enough phosphorus for this you can feed your plant with phosphorus rich fertilizer also check the ph level of the soil plants are not able to absorb phosphorus if the soil is very acidic or alkaline yellow spots or black mold on leaves white flies are common pest of garden that attack seedlings they suck sap from the plants leaving behind yellow spots later on which develops black molds on it so you can always use pesticide to get rid of white flies i hope you must have enjoyed this video please hit the like button share this video to as many people as you can with do write your comments if you have any thanks for watching happy gardening